These are four meals that I ate through my college experience and that will most likely be very helpful to you if you're a student or you're simply looking for some cheap, healthy and easy meals. After this video, you're gonna know specific meals to add to your own meal rotation, but also some very helpful techniques that you can implement in your own meals so you can create infinite dishes and become the god of student cooking. The last one's my personal favorite, but let's start with... It makes sense to start with breakfast, right? Contrary to popular belief, breakfast is not the most important meal of the day. American cereal companies just wanted you to think that, so they funded a bunch of research and popularized this idea so that you buy more of their products. Thank you, capitalism, but it just happens to be my most favoritest meal of the day. So here we have a sweet potato and black bean hash. Start by heating up some olive oil in a skillet. Use whatever sort of pan you have available. We're gonna add some diced onion and some sliced garlic to this and a touch of salt. Now this is how a lot of delicious meals can start so make sure to master this technique. Simply stir them on low heat until they become fragrant because who doesn't love the smell of garlic and onion in the morning? And once they become soft but not burnt, you can go ahead and add some chopped sweet potato. And you want to peel this and chop it in relatively small pieces so they cook faster. Give them a few stirs and add a splash of water to the pan and just cover it with a lid. And from here all you have to do is stir every minute or so, making sure nothing burns. And when the potatoes are nice and soft on the inside like this, it's time to add your beans. This is a quick recipe, so I have a contractual obligation with myself to always include beans in my videos. At this point, we can add salt, pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and ground cumin, whatever spices you want, to be honest. And finally, you want to drop in some spinach leaves. I know it seems like a lot, but these are gonna cook down to basically nothing. Add some lemon juice for acidity and you're freaking done i like to finish this with a soft boiled egg on top because screw poached eggs they're way too complicated to make and look at that drip also some hot sauce why not and try this and tell me it's not one of the most satisfying breakfasts you ever had but maybe we should move on to something more iconic before we get into that, I just want to say real quick, I'm releasing a freaking cookbook. This thing is stacked with tasty, healthy, and cheap recipes, which is why it's called Tasty, Healthy, Cheap by me. Look at that dumb face. And it even has a whole chapter dedicated to meals that got me through college. If you want to get your hands on a very useful cookbook and also support your boy, pre-order now and let me know that you did that in the comments. <laughs> Let's talk about fried rice. First of all, it's amazing. It's one of the best creations humanity has given us. Like, I love fried rice more than I love some of my friends. Just kidding, friends. It's a it's a joke. Not a joke. But a full-blown fried rice can be, in some circumstances, not the healthiest option. However, with a few smart swaps, we can make something just as respectable and a bit better for you. This is cauliflower rice. Stay with me here. I agree, it's nothing like actual rice. But don't be quick to dismiss this powerful tool here. If we dress it up in a fried rice fashion, you'll be much more drawn to it. First thing we have to do is look into our fridges and pantries and pull out any leftovers or any potential fried rice ingredients. You can go creative here. I have some mushrooms that I'm just chopping up, some onion that I'm just slicing up, some broccoli that I'm just chopping up, including the stem. Make sure to use that precious stem. I also have this carrot that I'm chopping up and this garlic that I'm slicing up. You may pick up on a theme here. There's some chopping involved, but but nothing fancy. Grab a skillet or a wok or anything that you can heat up really well. We're gonna work with medium high heat here, okay? Don't be scared, it's gonna be okay. First, we're gonna oil up our pan to make sure things don't stick and burn, and then go in with the onions and garlic first. Everything will happen pretty quickly, so make sure to always be moving everything. After 30 seconds or so, you can push everything to the side and add your carrot and broccoli, as well as some salt, and if you have it, some MSG. Do not be scared of this breaking bad sound name. It's just a flavor enhancer and it's super cheap. Add little amounts of oil if necessary to simply keep things moving until everything is cooked. It's actually a perfect opportunity to practice your tossing skills. And then add the mushrooms last because they cook fast. And when you think the time is right, pull your veggies to the side and add your cauliflower rice. And just add the amount that feels right to you. There's no need to measure anything here. You can learn some intuitive cooking through this recipe. And same thing, just keep it moving until it's cooked. Now we gotta 
add one more element here and that's the egg. Crack some eggs in a bowl with some salt and white pepper and beat them together. Then to the hot pan, pull everything to the side and add the eggs. And this is such an amazing recipe because it only requires one pan for all these stages of cooking. There are no rules here and you can fully cook the egg there or you can kind of mix everything together and the egg will cook within the rice which is what I prefer. Finish with some soy from a forgotten bottle from the back of the fridge. Add rice vinegar to balance out the dish with acidity. I also like adding a little sesame oil but that's optional. And that's it. Top it with some green onion and enjoy it hot and steamy. This boy clocks in at this much per portion which is pretty dang cheap. <laughs> But even cheaper is probably the most nutritious recipe from today. I know you may be looking at this and thinking that it looks like an adult food. Oh, you're making soups? What are you, 62? And listen, I know my hairline is quickly receding, but soup is cool. It's warm, comforting, easy to make, and delicious. And this specific one is ultra nutritious and mega cheap and other adjectives that might make you like this. Let's start with soup with our classic cheap flavor boys. Onion, garlic, celery, and carrot. Add some salt and give them a good stir, preferably in a Dutch oven, but any big pot will do. Now let's add some flavor. I went with smoked paprika, dried thyme, cumin, and a touch of ground nutmeg. Toast these spices for a few minutes until you can smell them in the air. And now it's time to add some tomato puree. A can of this stuff is 45 cents and it adds so much flavor to the dish and then we can add an actual can of tomatoes same goes for this one cheap and flavorful and now we need some bulk to this soup and i went to the star of the show green lentils lentils are simply amazing packed with fiber protein and carbs they're also a very sustainable crop we're also gonna add some big potato chunks because potatoes make everything better in my opinion like imagine we replaced all guns with potatoes top everything with water and add a bouillon cube this thing packs a lot of flavor for just 10 cents a piece. Now put the lid on and just let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And trust me, this soup takes very little effort and let's be real, 30 minutes is not that much to wait for this massive pot that has 5 to 6 hefty portions of hearty and delicious lentil soup. I like to top it with some Greek yogurt and eat it with a piece of toast on the side but now I want to move on to my favorite dish on this list. Salad can be so much more than boring leafy greens on a bowl with bland veggies. I like to experiment with salad because I like the idea of throwing a bunch of things together in a bowl and forming a special thing from that simplicity. I chose to replace the base of green veggies with pasta. Everyone thinks of pasta as unhealthy and full of carbs, but I just frankly do not care. Pasta is delicious and I'm not gonna take it out of my life. I cooked my pasta and let it cool down on a plate and in the meantime I just want to prep all the other ingredients. I'm going with a green theme here with some crunchy crunchy celery some fresh green bell pepper some green onion And I also have a leftover chicken breast, which is not green But is my green even the same as your green? Also, I have some frozen green peas here that I'm just tossing in a pan to heat them up literally for a couple of minutes. And finally, to glue everything together, I will make a thick dressing. Usually, this contains big amounts of mayo, but I found that the freshness of Greek yogurt and the fattiness of the avocado work better for me. I also added some garlic and some capers for flavoring. <laughs> And now we just throw everything together and then just toss and mix until everything is everywhere all at once. I could never get enough of this stuff to be honest. I put all these recipes in my description so if you do try them make sure to tag me on Instagram and let me know I'm very curious if you would enjoy them. Okay guys let me know if you want me to make more of these straightforward cheap and healthy videos. In the meantime click on one of these two videos. I know you'll like them especially this one. Click on this now. You have to otherwise bad things will happen.